welcome to Chuck's gym. And right here is Chuck. But he's so intensely in his training that he's just an idiot. So, uh, you have two paths, the right and the left. And the right one leads to nowhere, but uh, I'm going to take it anyway so we can uh, battle the trainers. And everyone here uses fighting types, that's kind of a given. Underlevelness of my team is really, really starting to show itself. Uh, I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> this is really going to be hard to get through if I don't uh, train a little bit more because the underlevelness of my team is really, really showing itself. I never noticed how much my team is weak to fighting types. It's not really a good thing. Yeah, sure. And one more trainer. Okay, now you have to hit a button that's back here. Now the trainer obstructs your path, which technically means you have to go this way, but you can actually uh, work around that by breaking the game by leaving the gym and coming back in if you do not wish to fight the two trainers on the right. But as always, I heavily recommend that you don't do that um, because you should fight all the trainers in the gym. I'm going to go take this chance to heal, and then we can return for the battle. Okay, as usual, heal up your Pokemon and save. You have to hit this again if you leave the gym, but um, that's not really a problem, because you had to fight the two trainers on the left anyway to get to this point. And then, obviously, uh, save your game before you fight Chuck, because that would be a bad thing if you didn't. Why, hello there, Chuck. Ugh, this guy must be crazy. He's certainly no Chuck Norris. What a shame. Alright, Chuck. Bring it. Oh, Chuck. He's in our missed opportunity for uh, changing up the roster of his team. It's fairly unchanged from uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And... It's heavily high in levels, but 
The advantage to this is the fact that he only has two Pokemon. He starts off with Primate, level 29 fighting type with the, move, the ability Vital Spirit. His move set is a Weir, Double Team, Focus Punch, and Rock Slide. This is extremely irritating. Chuck is a Double Team noob. I have Swift, which is a huge blessing. But if he uses Double Team, he's going to take advantage of that. And Focus Punch is an extremely powerful move that will hit only if you can't attack him prior to it. So you can imagine how much damage he can dish out just because you can't hit him. And flinches are irritating too because of Rock Slide. Uh, I picked the right time to use Swift because I can't risk missing. This Prime Ape is incredibly irritating. Worst off, I'm assuming he has potions on him because what gym leader doesn't? And I lack healing items because I don't bother to stock up on them. So uh, my team of six has to go all out to win this. Yep, there's the Hyper Potion. So uh, right now I'm in a stall match because I can't exactly risk missing with Air Cutter and I have to keep hitting him. And I have to hope I have the power points to take it out. Prime Ape is, without a doubt, beyond irritating. And don't underestimate this thing's power. It is a powerhouse. Now, I think the game right now is noting that I'm weak on health, and it's probably just going to keep using Focus Punch. Or maybe not. I have to be careful in picking my time in the hill. I honestly don't want to risk anybody else other than Skarmory fighting this thing. We're going to use my last lemonade. It's a shame. It's a good item. I'll have to head back to Golden Run stock up. Especially if I'm going to keep playing this game as underleveled as I am. And here comes the Focus Punch. Good thing Skarmory has high defense. Ew! Dang, did that hurt. If he uses Rock Slide again, I'm going to have to heal and pray he uses Rock Slide. Except I only have Hyper Potions at this point. And Basic Potions, but Basic Potions won't help me. Don't use a potion. Thank goodness. Okay. My odds of winning this have just gone significantly up. It does not help that I'm fighting him with a team of level 25s. Because that is not the best thing to be fighting with. KO, 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 KO. Oh, darn it, he lived. Mm. Darn it! Urgh, the worst of luck. Alright. Now I have to think here. Alright, XPL. Let's pray you can hit here with Ice Shard. Hit, hit, hit. He didn't really use Double Team much for me, so yes. Good. Plus, XPL needs experience. He's kind of the slowest when it comes to leveling up. All right, Polyrath, the big bad king of his team. Let me look at some of my move sets here because I'm going to be looking to use some strategic thinking here. We're going to start off with Raichu, and I'm going to paralyze him. Polyrath is level 31. It's a water fighting type. It has a citrus berry and it has the ability water absorb. Do not use water moves on it. It has hypnosis, surf, focus punch, and body slam. And likewise, uh, hypnosis will put you to sleep, leaving you completely vulnerable to focus punch. That is not good at all. This thing's level 31 incredibly powerful. And Raichu, forgive me, I have a feeling you are going to faint in this match. Um, 
Yeah, polyrath is insanely powerful. I'm gonna try something here. Oh, bad time to try something. Oh, darn it. I didn't think he would use focus punch without me being asleep. Not good. I'm not gonna live this. And Raichu's gonna be killing me tomorrow. Oh well. Let's see what our options we have to weaken this thing. Alright, we're gonna try something a little bit uh, risky. We're gonna go with Furret. Now, Furret's weak to fighting type moves, but I'm faster, and hopefully, I can pull off some flinches. And he can't use Focus Punch. That's the beauty of this method. The only problem is, is Surf and Body Slam are still going to hurt. And I was only fortunate enough to get a critical hit there once. And I'm not going to be getting flinches. What is this? Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! Stupid focus punch. I don't know why I need a quick, a quick claw here, but okay. Oh, that couldn't have KO'd, but I got a flinch, so it's okay. Ah, oh, and he's gonna use a hyper potion. Ah, oh, this is such torture. I don't know if I can pull this off. Oh, I definitely can't pull it off now. He hasn't been paralyzed once. What is this? There's no surviving this. All right, my team is quickly being wiped out. We're gonna go to... Hmm. Let's go with XPL. I have a strategy here. We're gonna confuse Ray it. It's time for confusion to work on my behalf. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be body slamming my body slam. That's just cheap. Yes. Wow, that did so little. But it's okay, because he's going to use Focus Punch. And I'm going to knock that out. Basically, the point of Chuck's team is to use Focus Punch. And because you're incapable of using Focus Punch from either Double Team, or because you're incapable of hitting it from Hypnosis or uh, Double Team, it makes it an incredibly near impossibility to beat this thing at low levels unless you have a full team like me. This is a very difficult gym battle, but very enjoyable. For two Pokemon, Chuck sure does a good job. And you shall get the Storm Badge. The Storm Badge lets you use Fly now outside of battle, which is incredibly useful, and you'll get the TM-1. Yes, the very first TM, Focus Punch. And obviously, if you don't know what it does by now, I don't know what to tell you. So, um, aside from that, we're done here. Woohoo! When you come out of the gym, Chuck's wife is going to come over to you and be like, here, here's HMO2, fly. And if you have a flying type Pokemon, which most people at this point typically do, unless you're like watching this and trying to imitate my team, because a lot of people seem to like to do that, in which you're probably waiting to get a Skarmory till the end of the game. Okay, fly is obviously going on Skarmory for me. And with Fly, 
things become instantly more convenient when it comes to traveling. Um, I'm gonna keep Sand Attack and get rid of Air Cutter, just because Sand Attack has its benefits from time to time. Um, I was gonna use Sand Attack on Polyrath, but I obviously didn't survive long enough to get to that point. Anyway, um, fill up your Pokemon.